What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and into another Forza Horizon 4 Spring Season Festival Playlist uh, video. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be knocking out the finishing, uh, the finishing touches on the Spring Season Festival Playlist for series 37. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we need to do. So we're gonna take care of the photo challenge, the weekly Forzathon challenge, and also the three PR stunts. And that'll finish out spring for us outside of the, you know, the daily challenges here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the weekly Forzathon challenge to start it out with. Um, so we need to own and drive any retro saloon. So let's go ahead and see what we've got that might fit that category. Um, let's see if we've got anything that's already kind of souped up. We don't really. So I'm going to jump into our Audi, our 2001 Audi RS4 Avant. And we're going to just throw a tune on it just to make some of these challenges a little bit quicker. So the whole shebang, shebang, shebang. So. Let's see, let's jump in here. Not that, that's not what we want. We wanna go over to cars. We wanna to go to tune, let's load a setup. Um, don't really want something like ridiculous, but we just want, yeah, we'll give this one a shot. <laughs> 900 horsepower isn't too ridiculous, and right? 93 grand, down the drain. Sorry for the squeaks, my chair needs some WD-40 and or a new chair, one of the two. So, all right, here we go. Let's see what our next step of that challenge is. So we need to drive for a total of 20 miles. So we're gonna do that. Probably do a lot of skipping around just because 20 miles can take a couple of minutes in this game and you know, not really necessary to make this video super duper long, right? Alright, just to kind of get through it and be a little productive. I went ahead and started up the Goliath. I don't know how long exactly the Goliath is. So, I'm just doing one lap of the Goliath. And we'll see what we're at afterwards. But this way we make a little bit of money as well. Um, you know, I'm going to make back that $93,000 that we just spent on tuning this car. There we go. Where are... Oh, let's see. Probably about... 80 to 90 percent through the Goliath. And we just now got the drive 20 miles... Um, challenge or chapter of that challenge completed. So we're just going to finish out this race. And then we're going to take a look at the next step. Actually, let's go ahead and see if we can't see the next step real quick. So we need to earn three stars of the Broadway Mill or Broadway Windmill Danger Sign. OK, so we're going to be right next to that, I guess, kind of, sort of. I mean, it's literally right there. Um, so we're not going to, I guess, somewhat close, but somewhat not, I guess. I don't know. but. We're gonna finish up this race, and we'll see you guys after that. All right, we actually got 93,000 credits, which is, we basically made our money back on whatever we spent on the car already, so not half bad. Let's see what we get in this wheel spin, 100,000. Okay, we've made way more back, so not bad at all. So let's go jump over to that danger sign and knock out that. All right, here we go with a run up to the danger sign. Our car is S1 class. It's at the top of that. We have to jump 1,200 feet, so we may have to either swap out cars here or throw a better or faster tune on it, maybe. So let's see what happens. This is our first jump. Okay, so that didn't get us three stars there. We need 1,200 is what I said. So we may need to try to do a bigger run up maybe. 
So let's go all the way back here. Try it again. If not, then we're going to have to put a bigger, bigger engine into or a better tune onto the car. Round when it is safe to do so. so let's see if this run up does anything for us. Here's a guy in a Ferrari. So we started about right here last time. It seems like our top speed in this thing is around 208 miles an hour. Just from doing the Goliath is what I could determine at least. So we're right there at it. So if this doesn't get it, we're going to need a bit bigger engine. Okay. We're going to need something bigger. Okie dokie. So let's see. Change, well, not change car. We can go over here to tunes. Yes. And let's see what we can throw on. Restar PR stunt. Seems like it was created just for this. There's a the share code if you want to use this as well. 127 411 436. Let's see if it works out. Let's see how much more money we're spending. 30 more thousand. That's fine. By doing the Goliath, we got the $93,000 that we spent on the original tune um, paid off. So not too bad. And then we had a wheel spin right after that, after we completed that race for 100000 So we are making a net profit so far this episode, Turn around when it is safe to which do is so. usually not what happens. So here we go. It's starting to rain. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we just do it with a smaller run up, if we can get it here. I have a feeling we're going to go back further. This car with that tune for S2, or S1 class, I guess is what it was, that we used on the Goliath, it was actually very well, it handled very well. I was very pleasantly surprised, and I liked it. Okay, we need a little bit more. Just a little bit. All right, let's try it. A little further back. Okay, Brandon. That off the screen. I need to turn those off because those get annoying very quickly. Now. So here we go. Got about a mile run up. I don't know if the seismic pillow is trying to get the jump or if he's trying to do a little speed trap, but he's gone by us a few times so far so we need to make sure we're going over 208 miles an hour which we already are 215 we should get it this time in theory got it all right there we go run sheep run all right so that is going to get run of the mill completed. Oh, we almost stopped perfectly to not take out that fence. So now we move on to the final chapter of that challenge. And that is going to be prove once and for all that your retro saloon is a cool car by winning a street scene event at Edinburgh, Edinburgh, new town. So we're going to put our other tune that we were using back on. And then we'll jump up there into that street scene event. And if you're curious about the tune that we're using for S1 class, this is it. It's from High Racks. And the share code's 164468468. There you go. So that's the one we used in the Goliath. And it's the one we're going to use in this street race event. And it'll cost you $93,000, by the way. But if you do the Goliath... At least with the settings I had, um, you'll get all of that back. So, all right, jump up here. Um, it is not that one. That one. All right. All right, Edinburgh, New Town. So we're gonna go ahead and start the race. And get this one going. Racing a Formula Drift uh, Dodge Viper, it seems. Got the Twin Mills Hot Wheels car. It's a 458 or 488. We've got a Formula Drift Mustang, it seems. We're gonna rear 
right around into a Land Rover. So we're out in front already. Looking good. May just add some style points in here for the fun of it. Go around some of these turns. Okay, a little too much. <laughs> But here we go. This shouldn't be much of an issue as far as as far out as we are. As I keep sliding on the water around these turns, need to take them a little slower, a little more cautiously, I suppose. But what fun is that, right? I mean, we're not playing F1, so we just slide around all we want if we want to, I guess. This is where we get that real freedom. <laughs> To do so. Ooh, almost flipped it there. That would have been fun. But we're maintaining first, not having an issue. As we shouldn't, because we've got a pretty good car. This tune is pretty solid. As I said, it's just a little sliding now because of the wet weather, the wet roads. But they handled that Goliath event pretty well. It rained a little bit in the Goliath, but. Um, the roads weren't necessarily this wet, and we weren't doing this many turns back to back, I guess. So, maybe that's something to keep in mind as well. It may be better for just long, straighter sprints of sorts. Um, but here we go. On to the last leg, last straightaway, if you want to call it that, of this race. And this will finish out the weekly Forzathon challenge. Everyday Hero is complete. So, like I said, that completes the weekly force -a challenge. It was easy enough. Again, if you do the, uh, what's it called? The Goliath race, you get that mileage, that 20 miles that you need, and you make some money doing it. So, let's go ahead and jump into... Uh, we'll end on the photo challenge. We're going to jump into these PR stunts. Um, they shouldn't be too difficult. So we've got the Lakehurst Speed Trap here. We're going to jump down here and jump into our Speed Trap specialty car. If you've been around the channel, you'll know exactly what it is. Um, but let me just go ahead and admire this car for a second. Whoever made this tune, the guy that made this tune, has great taste in wheels. Those look so good on this car. So bravo to you. Um, you did good, kid. So... Let's go ahead and jump into our speed trap machine, though. All right, we're in the machine now. So, if you don't have this car, I do implore you, at 50% on this spring season, you get a backstage pass. This is the car that you should use that backstage pass on if you don't have it. So, I can show you why. So we need, how, how fast do we need? We need 195 miles an hour. And we are within like three four or a fourth of a mile of the speed trap. And there we go. We go across at 216 with literally no effort at all. And we get a super wheel spin. So there we go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And I'm actually curious to see. I bet this car might be able to do every single one of these PR stunts. I'm going to challenge it to do so. Let's find the other ones. So this one, it's going to be able to do this fine. If you look here, I'm leading my leaderboard of friends and club members in this car. So um, we're going to be able to do this one fine. We need 133 miles an hour. We're going to come at it from this way. So again, if you don't have it, you get at 50%, you get a backstage pass in this season. And this is the car that you should be buying with said backstage pass. And if you throw the right tune on it, you'll be able to just master just about all of these speed traps and speed zones. So that was a really bad line um, through that one. But did we still get it? I think we needed 133. We got 134. And we had a terrible, terrible line. So like I said, this is the car. We're going to go check out that danger zone, see where it's at, because I'm almost convinced. Okay, this car might not be able to do that one. We're going to try that. It, it's going to be able to do this one. At least we've done it in this car before, so we'll see what happens. We've gotten further in this car before, so obviously it shows that it can do it. 
Um, let's see, we need four, four, nine. So this danger sign's all about how you land. There we go. We actually beat our personal best. Literally had the worst kind of takeoff. You kind of have to get lucky with that. Um, part of this danger sign is kind of skill in landing, or luck in landing, I guess, because if you hit a building, you fail. So we got lucky that we kind of went right over this building here and just kind of landed like that. So, again, this is the car that you need to spend your 50% completion bonus or backstage pass on. Um, if you don't, and you tell somebody that you have issues with PR stunts, then I'm sorry, you can't be helped. So this is the car. It does great. Um, and it should just be the one that you use. So, But we'll end the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy and or found the video helpful. If you did, make sure you leave the video a like. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 4 content. But other than that, I will see you in the next video. I think we're going to go through the Horizon Super 7. I need to actually check and see what those rewards are. That is a good reward. We're going through the Super 7. Get the C8. Um, that video might come out before this because that's actually an awesome reward for just doing the basic Super 7. Of course, we don't know what the Super 7 High Stakes has. But let's be honest, everything's been pretty bad in that so far. It hasn't really been worth it to me being a more advanced player as far as further into the story. Starting out last week, um, I made a video and not saying that it was worth it for me. Um, people brought up in the comments, you know, it is worth it for somebody starting out and I get that point. So we'll see what happens with the Super 7 high stakes when we get there, but we'll probably do the Super 7, the normal one, next because that... Corvette C8 is an awesome reward that you definitely need to get. So, um, like I said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will see you in the next video. Okay, I'm back. Um, you just thought you were getting off easy that time. Uh, we forgot to do the photo challenge. And also, we have gotten 80% completion on the spring season. So that's going to get us that Ferrari 250 or 250 TR. So we're going to jump over to Mud Kickers, jump in an extreme off-road car, and complete that photo challenge real quick. And then we'll call it a video. All right. We are in our Honda Ridgeline Baja truck at Mud Kickers. And we're just going to, you know, do this quick fire. And we got the extreme off-road car and Mud Kickers Adventure Park. So it gives us a super wheel spin and a thousand influence. Easy enough reward there. Um, so now I will go ahead and end this video. Um, I juked you guys out. I honestly completely forgot about the photo challenge because we usually don't do it in that order. Usually we do the photo challenge first and then, you know, just not doing it first kind of threw me off, I guess. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Like I said, what I or what I did say in the last outro of this video is that we're going to do Super 7, the normal Super 7 in the next video. And that still stands because it's CA Corvette. Again, that is a awesome reward. And I already have one, but I'm more than happy to have a second one in the garage. Um, just because I can use it in different classes or have two different class set up on it. So I hope you guys do uh, stay tuned for that. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will see you for real in the next video this time.